Gemini, welcome to your in-depth reading for yours and theirs. Surprise! Actually, not a surprise. Just in case you missed the mid-month check-in for January, I announced the brand new schedule for 2024. Essentially, all signs will get a reading now once a week with check-in energies available for Sunday. I like the idea of it. Um, I wanted to stir the pot a little more, get a little bit more of an energetic reaction. In other words, schedule change. <laughs> But it's not overwhelming either. Your message will still come out on Friday just now once a week and you'll be paired up with a release buddy. Yay! It should be Pisces. Everybody still keeps their day of the week. You're just now teamed up with another sign. That's all. And I just like the idea of it. It's kind of like it's it's kind of a buddy system. <laughs> I don't know. It sounded cool in my head and I'm like, let's just go with it. It feels good. It feels right. Let's just do it. So yeah, I hope you like it. Um, if you'd like to see the message yourself in case you missed it, it'll be listed in the description box as well as the schedule itself will be typed out. Okay. Yours and theirs. Um, for those of you who've been around, you know what's up. I know. I got to go over the basics. So yours and theirs. Obviously, it's an energetic read between you and someone else. That someone else does not have to be romantic in nature. Husband, wife, spouse, boyfriend, girlfriend, ex, whatever. Okay. It can be family member or friend based. That's for you to decide as I'm describing the dynamic because it either fits or it don't. So take it resonates, leave it does not and reverse energies as you see fit. And if it doesn't resonate at all, normal general collective readings okay that's that's the gig that's how it works check your other placements uh you'll find yourself in there somewhere okay all right let's get cracking show me gemini and their person please oh no the fire and air signs and we're like what uh, what it's not our week it, it is now it's everybody's week now yay <laughs> what's going on what's going on show me gemini and their person show me gemini and their person show me gemini and their person so hopefully you're having a happy friday i do i hope so you know it's um when i feel the stagnancy it's like okay it's time to get out of the rut let's let's switch it up a little bit you know yes yes and every now and again i'll do a sunday shuffle but for the most part there'll be check-ins on sunday all right What's going on, please? Show me Gemini and their person. Show me Gemini and their person. What's going on, please? Show me Gemini and their person. What's up? We're going to start with your side, but as I just said, reverse energies as you see fit. Oi! Five of Wands. Page of Wands. Four of Swords. I, I, we need a break. Yeah, yeah, we got some skirmishes. Now, we're going to see how deep those skirmishes go. But uh, they're frequent enough and annoying enough that you need a break. Mm -hmm. Four swords. Uh, I don't know what's going on, but there seems to be some frustration around you. And you went, page of wands. Four swords. You know, I think I'm going to take a little time out from this uh, argument. Okay. Okie dokie. Artichoke. Four of pentacles, knight of swords, death. Yeah, they don't want to talk about it either. Okay. 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 Well, somebody was holding on to something. Four pentacles. And good for them. Knight of Swords. They they, they, they let it go. Uh, they just let it go. And death. Um, you went from, I'm tired of arguing about this. It's time to go to rest. To somebody who's like, okay, well, I'm just going to let the whole damn thing go. We're going to see what's in there. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna see what's in there. We're gonna. See, I'm very curious. That's very interesting. But I guess that depends on what you interpret death is. That could be uh, okay. I'm done with the argument. I'm gonna let it go. And you're like, great. I needed a break anyway. I don't know. Let's take a look. Let's keep going. Shared three of pentacles, wheel of fortune, the queen of cups. You know, just, we're seeing a shifting here. Three of pentacles, cooperation, friendship, wheel of fortune, time having passed, and now showing, someone is showing me a singular heart space that is fully developed, which is beautiful. How it relates or ties back to this, we're we going to have to clarify and find out because it's not obvious. It's not obvi, as the kids say. And six of pentacles. Overall keeping the balance, keeping the peace, honoring the contracts, and this is everyday stuff, guys. These are Six of pentacles is everyday affairs. Uh, I go to work. I come home. I said I'd pick up the dry cleaning, so I did. I had to pick up stuff from the store, and I did that too. Uh, I checked in with Auntie this and Uncle that. I said I was going to. I did it, uh, and then they did their parts for me, so on and so forth. So these are everyday balances that we preoccupy ourselves with. That's where you are. They're like the kind of normal state of affairs. So let's take a look at your Six of Pentacles. Let's see that Six of Pentacles, please. Show me that Six of Pentacles, show me that Six of Pentacles, show me that Six of Pentacles. Show me that Six of Pentacles, please. 
There's that five of wands. Something about the everyday execution is causing frustration. Mm -hmm. Knight of Cups, Five of Pentacles, and we're literally not feeling the love in our everyday existence here. Mm. Seems like there's a lot of frustration, arguing, kickback from the very people it seems like you've immersed your life in, and it's just a lot of tension there. It's consistent. Five of Wands twice. Unfortunately, it's over Six of Pentacles, so your everyday normal shouldn't be complicated balances are looking kind of complicated recently. Uh, and we're not feeling good about this. We're feeling less good, Knight of Cups, about our natural emotional attachment to our everyday environment. Five of Pentacles, not good. Okay, I don't like that. We're exhausted. Literally, your everyday activities, you're feeling less good about. You're finding less joy in them, less love in them, and a lot more frustration and arguing. What the heck's going on? Let's see that Five of Wands, please. Show me that Five of Wands. It's, and that sucks, man. You don't want to feel bad about your everyday Six of Pentacles. You want to feel good. I'm glad that my heart flows in this direction. I'm glad I contract with this. I'm glad I balance up with that. You, for some reason, we're not feeling good about the everyday activities of our life. What's going on? I feel disconnected, unappreciated, or there's disputes about the everyday activity and how they're being generated. There's that, too. Let's see that Five of Wands, please. Some of that five of wands, some of that five of wands, some of that five of wands. Page of cups, six of pent. There it is, consistently. Five of wands, six of pentacles. It's very consistent. Three of wands. You keep hoping things will get better and they keep not doing it, <laughs> right? Um, you're actively waiting to feel better about your everyday balances. So is this a temporary influx of frustration? Things aren't happening the way they usually do. The contracts are getting sloppy. People aren't fulfilling their side of the bargains, and you feel less and less good about the stuff you balance with every day, and that includes people too. You're showing me heavy levels of activity, everyday stuff that's your norm. You're saying it's not in the norm, or you haven't felt good about the norm in a long time. It keeps coming back as fragmented, uncooperative or unfulfilled. Okay, so stuff, that, again, you always generated a balanced activity with, you're saying it's not balancing well and it's pissing you off. You don't feel good about stuff you always felt good about or you just assumed was fine. You're saying right now it's frustrating. Five of Wands is twice. Six of Pentacles should not be this frustrating. It really shouldn't. And these, it's not once but twice. So when I'm telling you, when I'm emphasizing this is everyday life, everyday activity for the Gemini and you're getting met with nothing but frustrations, let's say you go to work every day the same way, same route, and you never not noticed how many green lights you had until one day you got hit with nothing but red lights. So for you, everyday activities, which were typically a green light, now I'm not saying they're perfect, but more often than not they were a green light, you're saying you're getting met with red lights every day for normal activity. What the hell is going on? Um, yeah, and you, Three of Wands, uh, it's going to get better. It's going to get back to normal, right? And you keep asking yourself that. It's going to get back to normal. It's going to get back to normal. I'm going to feel better about this. I know it will. Just just keep at it. Just keep at it. So I understand your method for now. I want to know where the hell that frustration is coming from because that's a lot of frustration over everyday life that, from your point of view, says it's not supposed to be like this. I don't like that you don't feel good about your everyday activities. Frustrations, frustrations, frustration. <clears throat> Things are not bouncing up the way for which you are accustomed. It's chafing. And there's kickback, there's frustration, there's arguing surrounding these things. Can you not get on the same page with somebody about your everyday affairs, everyday balances, everyday finances? What's going on? What's going on, Gemini? It's like, why do you think we're here? Uh, well... <laughs> I need you to tell me as much as, you know, I tell you. I mean, because you have to tell me what's going on, you know. I can only interpret it and then tell you, this is what's going on, and you're not crazy. This is actually happening. It's like, okay, thanks, Christina, thanks for that. You know, <laughs> Page of, nine of wands, queen of swords, ten of, ooh, we're not getting cooperation. Mm, this is, it's, it's, it's almost like you're in adversary mode. Ooh, we don't like this. We don't like this. We don't like this. There's, there's way too much opposition okay there's a lot of opposition here 
You understand there with the Queen of Swords that you feel weighed down, blocked, and heavy. You're also saying you don't know what to do to fix it. What do you want me to do? I just want our balances to go back to normal. What's with all the fucking resistance, right? Nine of Wands, Ten of Wands, that's a lot of resistance, anger, and frustration. So what the heck's going on? What's with all the disruption? What's with all the kickback? What's with all the arguing? I, I understand things aren't falling into place, and that's already aggravating enough. What's the root of the issue? Have we not discovered this yet? Let's see that Four of Swords. Let's see if that's the discovery. Show me that Four of Swords, please. We're angry here. We're angry, and we're trying to show that we're not angry, but you're angry. What the heck's going on? You're trying to be cool. You're trying to be in control and in command. It's all cool, man. It's cool, but it's not cool, honey. That's a lot of frustration and anger. What's the deal? What is the deal? I agree. At that level of stress and trying to be cool about it, it's going to take a toll on you. I agree. You do need to go into rest. Show me that four swords, please. Show me that four swords. Show me that four swords. Right about there. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, de ay, ay. Death not once but twice. Okay, okay. We are afraid in the Four Swords, we've gone into rest about this. Looking at the frustration that's ongoing, it's disruptive. It looks like it's new. It looks like it's a new disruption that's trying to become a normative. You don't want it to become a normative. You're resisting that. You just want things to de-escalate, come back down, and get back into their state of balances. Whatever that is, isn't happening. The more you see that, the more frustrated and pissed off you get. Insisting things need to wait to calm down. That's not working. So now I see you going to bed, if you will, rest for swords, reflection, insight, understanding, and healing what the hell's going on with my 10 here? You're 10 and 10. 10 of Pentacles and 10 of Cups. Death. You're saying it's not, you're not convinced that it's ending, but you are saying or recognizing that it's trying to transform. You don't necessarily like its transformative properties. In other words, how is this going to come up the other side? This is how I've always known it to be. Six of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. It's always been here. And now it's always like this. What the hell's going on? You're trying to resist that inflexuation of frustration and anger. And you're saying that's not working. And me hoping things will just get back to normal. That's not working either. What do we do? What do we do, fellas? What do we do, ladies? We're going to go reflect on this. And we're trying to see in that reflection, how is our foundation transforming? Is it ending or is it transforming? Because now you're showing me death over here as well. But it's over some very important constructs. One of the questions here, is it going to go back to normal? Whatever that is for you, that's normal. It seems to be established. Or is parts of it transforming, and this is what I'm seeing, is growing pains. Okay? You don't like the shift. You don't like that things are changing. But it seems to be headed in that direction, and you going into four swords is a reflection of you acknowledging that things are going in a particular direction that indicates change. Okay. Okay, okay, I think we've mapped that pretty well. I don't know that thing's completely over. It's hard for me to believe that there's going to be an over, over some... Granted, that's heavy frustration, that's heavy anger, that's heavy fighting, and it's heavy resistance, but that doesn't necessarily mean the whole thing's over. I think what I'm looking here is an acknowledgement for transformation, and hopefully it stays there. That's where the sentence stops. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, let's see this person, Four of Pentacles. Uh, we've been holding back. Knight of Swords, somebody stopped holding back, started taking some form of action, which is also leading to a signature of death here. Again, this stuff is not meant to scare you guys. You know, I appreciate the real tarot because real tarot is real life. That means looking at uncomfortable elements. This is not in any way meant to scare you or provoke you. It's to help. You're either experiencing this or you're not. That's it. That's all she wrote, folks. You're either experiencing this or you're not. Don't force it to fit if it's not yours. Done. Never do that, right? All right. But if you identify with this, you already know, and there's a heaviness in your heart, and I can feel the sigh from here. Let's see that four of pentacles, please. Sometimes, guys, we must change in our balances that we've always known to be in place, but this is how it's always been. It's that word always that 
for us as human beings should signal, yeah, that word always can't always be there. You know, we never do so well as human beings just that we learn to see change for what it is and try to adopt and adjust for it. Um, it doesn't mean it's necessarily the change we like, but it could be better for us. We don't know. Um, let's see that four of pentacles, please. Show me that four of pentacles. Now, what's this person been refraining from? Show me this four of pentacles, please. Show me this four of pentacles. The lovers. The stars. Seven of swords. Hmm. They hold on to you. You're there. Boom. There's Gemini. Boom. Can't miss you. <laughs> Can't miss you. <laughs> Yours is one of the most famous cards in the deck, honey. And then there's the star. Acquiring energy doesn't have to be. And a seven of swords. It's like, uh, we got kind of a, something we've been holding on to, this feeling here, that you're involved. You're, they hold on to you. Okay. There you are. You're being held on to. I know it's not exactly the most flattering of depictions, but I can't really speak for this person. All I can do is interpret the language of the cards as best assigned to them. That's all I can do. Um, they've held on to you specifically, but have not come forward with the lack of desire. So this is active hiding, seven of swords, um, withholding our thoughts about how we really desire or don't desire something, really want or don't want, um, have strong feeling and hope for or don't. In this respect, we haven't come forward with this. So while they've, there's an admission here of holding on to you and your energy specifically in your real world presence, I have no doubt. I mean, your real world presence is all over this thing. The actual desire of it, this has not come up yet. This is active withholding of one's knowledge, okay? Specifically what you mean to them and the connection. So this person's idea of the vision for you in terms of goal orientation, longevity, desire for the long term, that's currently under question. Knights of Swords, let's see how they've taken action here. Let's see that Knight of Swords, some of that Knight of Swords, some of that Knight of Swords. Let's see that Knight of Swords. Let's see that Knight of Swords. Show me that Knight of Swords, please. Show me that Knight of Swords. Strength, Six of Cups, the Eight of Wands. They're trying to find the strength to talk to you about these things right now as we speak. This might be some very fresh communication, and it doesn't seem to be the easiest for you to hear. Uh, but they do mean it, so it's looking like those thoughts that we've actively withheld at the spiritual level, emotional level, they are now coming forward. Knight of Swords, again, is active, active action, active thoughts. He is given an assignment, and he executes the assignment. Not the best for conveying feelings, but this person is trying to be as honest, I believe, as possible. And they say that they feel the honor of the connection with you, Six of Cups and Barons to Time, uh, possibly Soul Bond. But they are trying to take action towards you and communicate with you as effectively as possible. It's looking like this kind of conversation is coming in soon. Your reaction is that it's hard for you to hear. But now the resistance is starting to make sense to you and why the balances have been so disruptive are now making sense to you. Okay. I think what was causing disruption in the balances is what happens when we actively withhold knowledge like that. We start to show underlying destructive behaviors in order to kind of prompt forward in ourselves what's actually going on. I believe this is what's been causing the sudden but ongoing disputes between you and this person. Is literally the translation being, tell me how you really feel, based on the premise of the activity behind it that might have been destructive or filled with anger and tension. And now this person is telling you how they really feel and think. What the output of that is? Well, let's take a look at death. Because here you are acknowledging it. I see you absorbing the conversation. They're being as honest as possible with the stuff that they've been withholding up until this point. And that's not an accusation, guys. We all have a seven of swords. We all have a five of swords. And that seven of swords, two types of people. I know I'm actively withholding information because I'm not ready to discuss it. And those who just can't. They can't be honest with their thoughts. It's just easier not to. 
So to this person's credit, they are trying to talk to you about this important thing. Um, it's taking strength of will to do so. All right, let's see death, please. And you, for your part, I was like, I see you listening. And you're trying to keep your cool, but you're pissed. And you feel the weight of this conversation, but you are absorbing it. Okay. Um, okay. But it's kind of like, well, this kind of explains all the tension between us. Okay. It's like that. Let's see death, please. Show me death. Show me death. Show me death. Show me death. All right. All right. So you're both being brave. All right. But if it helps resolve the tension and it helps create more of an understanding than there was before, so be it. All right. Show me death. Show me death. Show me death. The Hierophant, the Magician, the Two of Pentacles. They said they've been on the fence about this commitment for a long time and wanting to know what to do. Sometimes they can see themselves staying in the commitment with you for what they perceive as the right reasons of balance. And then there's times they say they can't see staying in this commitment with you um, because they no longer feel the same. Okay. They question heavily if this is their life path for the long term. You know, there's the admission here that they walked out on the star when it comes to you. They've held on to you. They know this. They didn't deny it. They know they held on to you, but they also said that doesn't necessarily mean I had an immediate solution either. That's what that looks like, more or less, on the, the top line. I knew this to be true. I wasn't letting you go, but I also didn't know if I wanted to continue to keep it. So this is that person's seven of swords that they kept to themselves until they brought it forward. And they're, they're saying it's taking strength to talk about these things, but they want to. And they're trying to understand if you two have a committed future. So whatever that commitment is, guys, the hair front represents commitment, but that anything, whatever this relationship context is between the two of you. So indeed, your foundation is currently under transformation. It's also under question. It hasn't been resolved by either of you. It looks like it's an open discussion. And these things need to be. This person is manifesting an answer uh, as much as you want one to. They want to know what to do. They're still on the fence, the two of pentacles. But death, it's, it's a pretty serious proposition. And you see it as a threat to your foundation, Ten of Cups, as you would. It would make sense. And I'm going to have to go ahead and insist on this point. So it's given you a lot to think about with the Four Swords. It would make sense. Now that I see their end line, I see your end line makes a lot more sense to me. Can this be healed? Does the whole thing have to be transformed? Is the whole thing over? Do parts of it need to be transformed? There's a lot of questions in there. You don't have a solid answer, neither do they. But that commitment there at the hair front, that's, that's business. That's serious business. Um, so I will say this. They are treating this with serious business. And before you're like, don't take their side, I'm not taking a side. Let me, let me rephrase this for you. If you're in a commitment with somebody, I don't care what it is. Commitment to a family member, commitment to a friend, commitment to a spouse. If someone's questioning heavily that they want this with you for the long term, would you rather A, know about it sooner, or B, later? Think about that. Myself, personally, I know which one I'd opt for. The one that causes the least amount of damage over time. Now, I know the way you're reacting, honey. Gemini, listen to me. I know the way you're reacting. It frustrates you. You're angry. You don't understand. Yeah, the past several months are starting to make a lot more sense to you. Mm-hmm. 100%. But I'd rather you know now than much further when things, if they continued on this way, might have continued to deteriorate. Because then you end up wasting accidentally, if you didn't know what was going on, your time and then the connection... Da -da -da -da. And then it really does transform into something twisted and ugly if you kept at this rate. So, yeah, let's be glad they're talking about it. I don't know how much you knew or suspected. I really don't know. So I'll give them this. They're being honest. Very honest. They had to process what they needed to process before they could present this to you. And this has to be, I have to say, guys, I have to say, this has to be one of the most honest forms of communication I've ever seen. No shit, it's taking strength to talk about it. It's not an easy subject. 
And it's not easy for you to absorb. I acknowledge that as well. But you are doing it. So that's to your full credit. You're absorbing this. You're resting on it. You're not acting on it. Okay? It's this person has given you both something to think about by being honest. So all we can do is be honest. They could have kept this inside them. And like I said, things could have continued to deteriorate and become increasingly negative until it became so twisted. Perhaps you two ended up hating each other forever. And is that? No, we don't want that. We don't want that. Again, I want you to be that Gemini that opts to know sooner rather than later. Right? I think you being the most dualistic of the signs understand this. I know you do. Um, so it's, I, I, I'd just rather you know. And this person, they want to know the truth too. They, they're manifesting the truth too. This commitment, is it still a commitment? They have mixed feelings on the subject. They haven't made up their mind. And you, I think, are starting to see some of those points as well with the Four of Swords. Are there parts of this we keep? Or do we scrap the whole thing? Is that what you want? Is that what I want? Because you're making some points here. It's been a long time, it seems, since we've gotten along. Yeah, there was underlying factors to it. But now that I know, it's given you a lot to think about. I will say that your reaction's quite calm. It's given you a lot to think about, so that kind of tells me how long this has been wearing with you, too. I don't know. Let's see what the answer is. Three of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, the Queen of Cups. The outcome seems to be somebody's heart space is fuller. So let's keep on keeping on. Let's see that Three of Pentacles, please. Show me that Three of Pentacles. Show me that Three of Pentacles, please. Show me that Three of Pentacles. Show me that Three of Pentacles, please. Show me that Three of Pentacles, please. I have to say, your reading is remarkably concise, and I can tell that you're at the heights of this. Uh, since this, this very important communication and the truth of the thing, and that's a lot of truth, that's a lot of barrenness of truth. It takes, I, I, I will give that person points for that. It's strong. They want to honor the truth as best they can by telling you everything. Um, it's in the dead center of the reading, so that seems to be happening soon. Okay. And I say, I say soon, and then I do a time check, and it's like, it's a year from now. That happens all the time. Uh, we're all in different timelines. I do know this. If you read tarot, you should always be paying very close attention to the opening, the middle, and the end. Those are very critical points. And that's literally at the dead center of the reading. So I know it's at the height of importance. Okay. All right. Let's see that three of pentacles, please. Show me that three of pentacles. Here's the thing. You didn't show me one tower though, honey. Not one. So this really isn't too much of a surprise to you, isn't? It's more like a the explanation you needed. You don't seem to be very surprised. Three of Pentacles, Three of Cups, Six of Cups, Eight of Swords. There it is right now. What we've been feeling in this connection, there's the Six of Cups. Soul bond energy, for sure. Are they part of your soul tribe? I have no doubt. Are they your soul mate? I don't know. Soul tribe? Yes, I don't question that. You two have known each other a long time. And you have a unique connection. But that doesn't mean they're meant to stay in our life like that, romantically or otherwise. I had this talk with somebody not too long ago. Okay. And we have this, uh, are we better, are we more emotionally, emotionally suited as friends? That's an excellent question. And it's one that we've been avoiding, Eight of Swords, for a long time. Are you and I better companions as friends? Do we have a better emotional depth that is better tuned to friendship than, say, in love energy? We've known each other a long time, and perhaps we are part of a common soul tribe. We were meant to influence each other, in other words. But is the depth of our feeling for each other, does it really go beyond friendship? Is it that we just get along really well, and perhaps we've created a whole commitment around that? It's a question that's being posed by one or both of you. And we hope to find a solution to it. But I have to agree, um, it's very common that when you have a nice, natural, easy flow of friendly feeling with somebody, we can initially mistake it for a soulmate type thing. 
It was like, oh, man, we have a lot of little things in common, and this feels so flawless. Let's build a whole world around that. It's, it happens a lot. It does. It really does. But that's the thing. It's not for me to say. It's for you two to sort out. And that's the question here, and it's a big one, and that needs to be answered, okay? And it would explain so much of what I'm seeing here today. You two were meant to form a connection in life in some way because your souls had to share something important. But that doesn't necessarily mean a whole commitment was supposed to evolve from it. We'll see. That's where we mistake that friendly sort of feeling as natural friends for something more. And then you build up time together. Oh, yeah. All right, anyway, I'm sorry. It's just something to think about because that's, that's, that's an excellent question for what I'm seeing here. It actually would make a lot of sense, guys. It would. Uh, to me, it does. To me, to you, it might be sounding like absolute gibberish. Well, there you go. <laughs> so take it resonates, leave it does not. Reverse energy does, it applies. I'm here to help and understand. Okay. I'm not casting judgment. These kind of things are incredibly normal. Um, it's just a different kind of connection, like two people who commit over each other's foundations or sense of working hard or values. It's no different, except that one's an active decision, not one based in love. It's just another kind of commitment, guys. We do the best we can with what we know at the time. And perhaps you two needed each other at that time. Okay. For various reasons. Companionship, sense of stability, commiseration. Who knows? But I know you two made sense once upon a time. Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, the Fool. There's been somebody here who has a very distinct energetic imprint of, I've been feeling so different. Somebody said they grew into themselves over time. It's a strong recognition. I don't know if it's you or them. I believe it's them. I don't know. But they said this happened over time, is that I know who I am. I know myself more now, today, than I ever did back then. My personality is just... It's not that I found myself or discovered myself. It's just this is who I've always been, and I... Somebody here is very desirous of a new beginning with a much stronger sense of self. Something that kind of surpasses an aggravated Six of Pentacles. Perhaps it's a little bit of both of you. And you're just now saying that together in unison. Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, the Fool. Um, one person, but possibly two. Over time, you both have developed into the people or you realized your fullness of self, I should say, over time, and you did that with each other's help. Perhaps you're both marked with new beginnings. That's actually kind of beautiful. Perhaps that's how your two souls met or were needed to meet so that you could take safety in each other. And you... Perhaps now at that point or junction in your timeline where you both kind of possibly outgrew each other. In other words, the soul bond did its job. You know? I don't know. It's actually quite poetic and beautiful. And it flows through what you're both experiencing. All right, let's see that Queen of Cups, please. Show me that Queen of Cups. Show me that Queen of Cups. Honey, you both might be beautiful birds and it's time for you to fly. There is a strong sense of companionship here. I don't dispute that. It might be you two were soul bonded as friends. Safe companions while you two developed in your own way. And now I think you both might be ready to take flight. I know it's, but there's a whole world in here. I see it. I, I see the pentacles, guys. I see the commitment. But I'm talking about you two as individuals in the spiritual realm where it counts. Okay. Your emotionally and spiritually evolved selves. So you've outgrown this frustrated Six of Pentacles. I don't know. I do have that sense of you two just feeling like two small, vulnerable baby birds. I don't care how old you are when you connected. That's not the point. If two vulnerable people found each other and your souls were more or less a good fit trying to talk to each other, you did your jobs. I believe. And two birds in flight, possibly. I oh, don't know. I'm, I'm a poetic. I mean, I'm a poet. At, I can't help it. It's just who I am. I'm a poet at heart. I can't help it. And I just, I kind of see the beauty of that here. When you take the messiness of the everyday reality aside, 
you two as individuals, I think you've grown in different ways, but in beautiful ways on your own terms, in your own individual ways. Anyway, I'm sorry, I do get lost to stuff like that. It's one of the things that makes me a horrible tarot reader. All right, the Knights of Cups, the Four of Swords, and the Page of Swords. There it is, there it is, there it is. There is some sort of admission here that I'm starting to feel that this is correct. There it is, and I'm reflecting that back on you with the Four of Swords. When you go inwards on this, you're starting, you check in with yourself more and you're starting to see that your heart indeed might be taking a different direction, a different shape, particularly how you love yourself and how you love this connection is very different. When you take the busyness aside and the day-to-day -day reality side, like I said, you said your heart has expanded in a different direction too and you're just now starting to see that. So I'm telling you, this is the conversation you both needed. It really is. It's doing, I know it doesn't seem like that at the surface, honey. At the surface, it's going to present itself as absolute hell with a lot of misgivings and, and trepidation. I understand. But that conversation, critical as it is, literally at the heart of the reading, is really helping you both understand where it is you're supposed to be. And that might still be with each other. Companions can still continue to choose to be companions. It's just, are you going to be committed companions? Because there is something here in the foundation that's transforming as we speak. It's not yet decided. The, the dust hasn't settled by the one of you. They question it as much as you do, but the point is you're both questioning it in the right ways and in equal measure. So as so long as you both have that same goal to be on the same page to sort this out, you'll figure out what's appropriate for the both of you. Okay? There's no guarantee. I just know your heart is expanding in what looks like a healthier direction now that you started thinking about this. There's something about it that speaks to you that perhaps we did outgrow each other. And in that admission, your heart space feels better. It makes me wonder how long this has been building up for the both of you then. Enough to cause aggravation in the 3D in micro ways and in macro ways. It's oddly beautiful, like I said, poetic. I just know that whatever is decided ultimately feels good to you. And you both, and this is going to take a minute, Wheel of Fortune, guys. Wheel of Fortune. It might be the new beginning for the both of you. It's interesting. I wish I could say something more conclusive, but I can't because you two just started to work through this. I can see it. Okay. Anyway. You just started to... I can't wait. I, I really am curious to, 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 that death is over this, but it hasn't claimed anything. It could still be transformative. It could expand. It could shrink. But I strongly feel you two are companions, just not committed companions. You two did each other's jobs at the soul level, I think. You two were what you needed to be at that time and in your place in your lives, okay? And that's beautiful. No time is wasted, none whatsoever. I, the I, envy and protection. Protection, okay. Be aware of your intuitive self. Look inwards and don't worry about who's looking outward. And by that I mean, this is between you two. It will be solved by you two. No matter of family or friends should be influencing this. You have your process, they have their process, and then there's the process between the two of you as a couple, whatever that is. Do not let anyone's outside influence bother that process. Okay, it's precious and it's sacred. Just, there you go. Crown, you wear the crown, success, pride, I know. I saw that right about here. Some of you are very prideful. Okay, in that respect of I've always risen to a challenge and there's nothing I haven't been able to solve until this. You're not supposed to solve it like this the way it has been. How it has been is changing as we speak. But yes, I mean, continue to have that pride and be proud of your successes in this. What you have managed to accomplish with this person for that is great. Okay. Um, survival power. This is not a matter of survival or power or gameplays. There's nothing here to pursue that is until defeat or anything like this. This should be processed with caution. Okay. 
It's not something that we have to attack. There is no attack here. This person was very forward, very honest. There's nothing to attack. I, everything that led up to it was aggravating, don't get me wrong, but that was stemming from something. Okay. 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 This is not about survival or power. It's about what's right for the both of you. And within five years, mm, this, okay, this, I was going to say, this will not be solved within five years. I'm saying the process of this retroactively started some time ago. We're talking maybe two or three years ago. The balance has stopped being smooth. The sense of aggravation, walking on eggshells, or just mm, that sense of constant aggravation. When you compare it to, say, five years ago, things were operable, but it started slipping, right? And becoming more and more frequent. The instability started to become more and more frequent these past couple of years. I think in a little bit more time, perhaps another year or two, you, the both of you, I should say, know what you're doing. Uh, last December might have been critical. Okay. On a Sunday, specifically. It could be next December. I don't know. And for some of you within a week, like I said, I, that conversation that's so critical will be coming up, I believe. Okay, Gemini, honey, I hope this helped you. Put in the comments. Take care. Be well.